Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tales of Sisteria. I am Wishblade, and I don't want to set the world on fire except for this thing. Yoink! I didn't even hit it, I'm so good with this. There you go. Are there more? There might be more. I'm not entirely sure. Ah uh, well, take the medicine to the sanctuary. Maybe that's something I should do. Okay, towards the sanctuary we shall go. It is right over there. I see it in the distance and it looks very creepy. Luna! I love you, girl, I love you, but you, you look a little bit creepy right now. You look just a tiny bit of a creepy. Oh my goodness. It is so scary. Now, there are more things we can acquire, like the banner. And also something in here, I believe, if I can find it. There it is. It is in the treasure chest. It is a shabby spear. Mm. That doesn't sound very good. Now, I don't know the exact translation of shabby, but it just doesn't sound very good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that it is just no. No. And hello. Hellside circlet. Now let's go inside. Hey, everybody. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I've brought medicine. What's happening? You're welcome, sirs. We can do not stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. Wow. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And we can help dispatch the Hellhounds. That is something we can do. We already kind of did. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. Probably not. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. Somewhere. But where? That is the big mystery. And apparently that was the transition we needed. All right then. We've consumed the plague medicine. Because we have the plague. Clearly. No. So where are we going now? That's a tree. That's a what? That's a dragon. Why is there a dragon? The dragon! No, it's just a hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. Oh! Okay. Well, that's something then. It's landing over there! Let's go get it! I... I guess, maybe? We should probably go and idea to fight the hellion, but... There should also be something we can do somewhere if we go to a save point. It is a skit! If I recall correctly and I'm correct in this, yes I am! So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar, no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. Pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime, and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed, the cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty. Right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty ones, at least. Oh, why did you turn around, Edna? Why did you turn around? Are you embarrassed? Is there something you are? Maybe. I don't know. I would like to see you blush. How would that look? I do not know. Anyway, where's that? Oh, hello. Well, definitely not as big as I Don't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. But it's tiny. It's gonna be okay. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. You know it! Now, dragon thing, I... I'm gonna purify you now. That hellion is called a drake. It's a younger form of dragon. Good to know. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. That's not good. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait! Don't, Alicia! Hold on! But what if we could purify it? That'd be better. It's on us. Look oh, out. crap! Oh boy, here it comes. 
We got this. Oh dear, okay, okay, we don't know. Never mind. All right, we're just taking refuge in here. All right, go. Cool. That was close. It's fine. It's just a trick. Hi, everybody. Don't mind us. We're just panicked. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Otherwise, we do something entirely different. <sighs> Again? Well, we gotta do something. We must save the day, but how? Edna, tell me. Damn it, Edna does not know how. Edna, you said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the Drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. It is our duty. Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Yay! Yeah! Teamwork! Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Like a turtle. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. Time to begin operation slow and steady. Alrighty then. I like it. Now where are we going? I have no idea. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. Well, that's always something. Now, where the hell am I going? There's a store. There's a store. Where should I be going? To which store should I head? That's a very good question. Here, I'll do you a favor. I actually think we don't have to go up to that one. I think the one we actually really want to go to is this one right down here. Just like when we could go to the sanctuary or not. Hello there, ma'am. What are you doing? What's that you got there? Shall I help you carry those? N no. I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. Nerds! These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Good call. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Wow, jeez. But I'm the shepherd. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Okay. Bye. Aren't you being defensive? Something's up. You think so? Could be. Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. Very classified indeed. Maybe we should go and figure out what the hell's going on. Let us go and find the woman. I'm and sure she's up it. at the star. Yes! Chocolate rusk! Very wonderful! Om um, nom nom! What are you doing, lady? Hello! This is a weird location. Does she now? Oh! Did you bury the books with your daughter? That is kinda weird. I'm gonna go now. Why? Or not? <sighs> What's up? Hello, Mebo! I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kind of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I know, right? Weird. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. Okay. All right. Slow and steady and sneaky and stealthy. <laughs> All the S words. What are you doing, lady? Oh, hello, sir. Who are you? Look. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. I do not like the sound of that. Who's there? You're... Are you selling the books? So you lied to us about protecting the books? I think you're selling the books. <sighs> That's malevolence inducing. It was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Are you sure? Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Uh oh, don't do that. Malevolence! Don't get angry. Otherwise, I'll have to smack you. We're taking these back. That's a good Alicia. 
You should go. Bye. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. That's what you get for being a dum dum. The malevolence is fading. Yay! I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Naif for me? All right, what is it? <sighs> I don't know what it is. So Ray, tell me. You're the one holding it. Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down. To be brought to justice. What a strange individual. But okay. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. I know, right? And they're speaking the truth all the freaking time. Now! I guess we have to purify some more malevolence here in Marland. Alright! So I guess that was just part of the malevolence. Now we need to deal with some of the other malevolence. And it is right up here, where we were before, with a big old building. What kind of building? That's a very good question. Let's go and see if maybe we will find out. It looks very scary. Is it a haunted mansion? Maybe. Ah, there we go. No skate for us now. Maybe later. Walk in so slow. We going in? So, are you scared of ghosts too? Nah. Would you like me to hold your hand? Yes. It's not like that. Oh. You understand, don't you, Saray? No. Ooh. It's so creepy. I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. Let's kick its butt. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. Ah. Come on, guys. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service, and... Please stop. No, never. Oh, wow. I just got it. Hello. See, it was just enough explaining. Door. Creaking. It wants us to come in. Uh-oh. Looks like it. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, I'm hearing noise around me. That's not very good. So let's watch a skit. So there's no Guardian Seraph here, either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the celestial record. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. Ow! Oh! We pissed her off. Oh no. Now she's gonna punch us in the face. Or poke us with her umbrella. Now let's go inside. The Nornia Museum. Well, ain't it just a wonderful place? It looks creepy. And that's a monolith. Does not look creepy. The most efficient way to build up your blast gauge is to guard or evade enemies using quick steps while in normal state. Not while amortized. Note that attacking will not replenish your blast gauge, however, it will recharge with time and certain skills will also allow you to recharge it through attacks. If you would like to focus purely on attacking, you would be wise to co collect equipment with SC type skills. Alright, 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 well that's very interesting then. Okay, so, where am I going? I could go that way. I don't think I need to go this way. I need to go this way. Also, that doesn't have a symbol, so we can't go through that door yet. Yes, yes. We can later. Spoilers, I guess. Such important cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. Oh no, I can't forgive this either. It's stupid fairies and pixies specifically. I need the earth powers. Keep the crap out of it. Oh my, I can see fairies. I believe they're also hellions. That is probably a thing that they are, and they're also very a freaking annoying. And maybe potentially, considering they do use a bunch of seraphic arts. Maybe! I shot not! And that's what happens if you attack 
someone using some graphic cards with a head nod. It is very dumb. Absolutely very dumb dumb. So maybe I should try to focus on using my Earth Dragon Fang by holding forward on the stick and using the martial arts. That's something I could have too, although. No resistance to water, make Leo. You dumb dumb. You absolute dumb dumb is what you are. Now get over here, you little pixie. Purification complete. Exactly. It was glorious. Now, where can I go? Probably through here. Hello. What do we have? Oh no! It is a spider. You ready, Saray? Go for it! Is it the same one we saw in the ruins? This one could be much stronger. You've really seen Hellions like this in that ruin? Yes, they were quite creepy, just like these are. They probably made all these webs, and I don't like it from fear. Although these, I'm barely certain they don't do seraphic arts, so I could have armatized with that, and it would have been awesome, but whatever. Burn the webs, and get the treasure. Thank you, Apple Geo. Now, what else we got? We got a door. Hello, oh god. Stupid little pixies being all over the place. Don't like it, another shabby spear. That's something I can live with. That's all right with me. Hello. That looks interesting. But I can't do anything with it. I thought I could, but maybe not. Right now? Now I can! What's, what's on the wall? Step on weed. Not weed. No. Step on wheat. And wheat gains strength. Step on them. And what takes place? I don't know. Squash on their bellies and their guts puff out. Squishy and red flying out of their mouths. Ugh. That is a very disturbing it's rhyme. Writings. It looks like they were scrawled in blood. <laughs> ah! Also, apparently we can combine the peoples into a dangerous encounter. Steady your nerve. Well, that is a thing. It is indeed a thing. Now, Return to I guess we'll just have to kind of deal with this a little bit. And just because it's our first dangerous encounter, I suppose I can show it off. Also, suddenly they're level 28 instead of, what, 19? Or something like that. That's not very good. That's not very good at all. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Here you go. All of you just get over here into a nice big old clump. A little clump in the corner. I don't know if you'd call it a clump. Whatever. That's what I'm going to say. Come over here. Bad little pixie. Bad pixie. Destroy all the pixies. Come everybody. Destroy them all. Please. Also, I should get some SC back. Get rid of this pixie first, though. There you go. I got all my SC. It's wonderful. Where is the other? There, there, there. there it is. Die, you little bastard. Die. I don't like you. There you go. Someone take care of this. Thank God damn it. Please. Please focus on the thing. I'm not sure if I actually... If I tell them to focus attack... If they continue to focus on my current target, or they will continuously follow me. If, and if I change the target, then they will also do the same. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever. Anyway. Let us continue to destroy the bastards. Come over here. Power hit. I like it. Also, Mick, Mick Leo is now, is now dead. And as you can see... On the UI down below, there is a wee little thing that is blinking and slowly filling up. That is indeed the absolute power of regeneration things. And apparently, I cannot use apple gels on someone else. So, um, oh right, it's because she's affected by a status ailment, aka slow. So, well, bugger. In that case, noink. There you go. The fairy circle. It didn't do anything because he's still slow. God damn it! I should probably get some panacea bottles or something then. It is truly a miracle we survived that. I don't know if I'd call it a miracle. I was, I was very nice that we survived, clearly, but no, you know. Also, just because one of the enemies is resistant to the water, therefore, make Leo. You should not be in the actual party right now. And now we can go through this door. We couldn't have done that before, but we can now. But we don't want to. No. We want to go this way. Oh, look! An enemy! A scorpion! Is that really a scorpion? It's so large. But that makes it easier to hit, right? Yeah, makes a good point. That's a very good point right there. And because it is weak to the air, I guess we'll just have to do something silly. Looks like you saw martial arts or hidden arts, because we don't have a wind serif. I really want a win, Sarah. That would be amazing. Now, where am I going? 
I believe I am going somewhere. Um, do I want to go north? Okay, we'll try to go north. That seems like a good idea. A dead end! And the pixie! And also, apple gel. And over there is another treasure chest. With a life bottle. That is very helpful indeed. Now, is there anything else around here? No, I don't believe so. Therefore, we must go this way now. We must go to the south and see what kind of secrets are hiding over here. I do not know. Maybe a staircase and an herb. What kind of herb? It's saffron. Alrighty then. And upstairs, there should also be something of interest. A point of interest. Haha! <laughs> it's a monolith. Effect potential. Various things can increase effect potential. Two times chance to inflict ailment when enemy is weak against the attack element. Four times when... When enemy stats have been reduced by an element. Two times when the effect... Chance of effect from antagonistic attack types. So... Hidden arts, martial arts, seraphic arts, blah 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 blah. Two times when you're using a banished blast. Chance increase when your SC is high. And a bunch of a chance. 1.4. When they are chained off a quick step. Alright then, now open the door. Hello, I see a treasure chest. Give it here. Thank you. Calcite boots. Juicy. There's blood in the statue. Swing the blade once. Cut off the right hand. Swing it again. There goes the left hand. The wicked thief cries out in vain. It hurts, it hurts. He screams in pain. Or he something pain. It was supposed to be pain at the first one. Sorry, swing the blade once more and cut off their head. The thief goes silent. The thief is dead. Is this a statue of the shepherd? What senseless vandalism. <laughs> what is with the booing and the weird noises? I don't like to admit. Oh boy. There are most definitely ghosts in here. Also enemies. And there was even a spider on the ceiling. I didn't like it one bit. But we did get something new, I believe, yes. A midi blouse. So that's something. There you go. Now you have seen it, I will deal with it at some other point when I'm actually dealing with my equipment. Oh boy! Another pixie. I will deal with you very soon. But I will also deal with... That wee little bastard. And now that those two are out of the way, we can get a treasure. Choose a treasure. Just a Kelside hairband. Oh well, it's something. And discovery! The statue... It radiates such dignity. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but but wouldn't he be more or less naked? That's what makes him attractive, in an aesthetic sense. W well, it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia! Unladylike! No, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I mean, not much. Just enough. The uh, normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Oh, burn, ladies, you are hot. Oh my goodness. Well, we already knew that. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Moving right along. Any enemies? That's more like it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. There's a pixie. Is there something else? No. Sadly, I did happen to cut out a bit of laughter as I got further into the room and the ghosts were really excited. That was just a lot of laughter. A lot of creepy laughter. And no one liked it at all. Now. You go away. Is there something of interest around here? There's a treasure chest. And I want it. Thank you very much. Give it to me. Soft serve ice cream. And a monolith. What wisdom shall you behold for me? Combo effects. If your combo is interrupted, you may briefly find the further attacks are rendered ineffective. Rather than try to restart your attack, it's a better idea to get your footing and ready. And ready for the weapon. And not weapons. Enemies counter attack. There you go. After all, you're probably low on SC at this point. Mm, yes, you should definitely watch yourself. And also, watch out for the rosemary, the juicy rosemary. 
It makes us all so very, very happy. Now, you burn Lufric away, and then there was a door. What's inside the door? A hallway with a save point. And an evil laughter. Oh boy, oh boy. The stars in there. Alicia, I am very scared. That's why I'm gonna stand here in the same point, and then I will see you in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see ya later.